Hello student today we are going to learn exercise 1.3 okay this i'll explain you in video part 3 okay so this is question 1 question 1 is write the smallest and the greatest five digit number formed using the given digits here some digits are given you so what you have to do you have to convert it into a smallest and the greatest five digit number so the smallest five digit number formed using the digits 7 4 3 1 and 8 is smallest means smallest means students smallest to largest so which num digit is smallest one so one then after one three so three then four four then seven seven then eight so what is the smallest uh, five digit number this is 13478 and the greatest five digit number is greatest means greatest to smallest so greatest number is eight then seven then four then 3 then 1 so which number is formed here 8000 87431 so second question is digit is 9 comma 1 comma 6 comma 2 comma 0 so the smallest five digit number is we never start number with 0 okay so we start with 1 After zero, one is the smallest digit. So one zero, then two, then six, then nine. So the digit formed ten thousand two hundred sixty-nine. Then greatest five digit number. Greatest is nine, six, two, then one, then zero. Okay, so this is the uh, number which formed greatest five digit number. This is ninety-six thousand two hundred and ten. The next digit is seven comma four comma three comma one comma eight. So the smallest five digit number is the smallest number is one, then three, then four, then seven, then eight. So what number form? Which number formed here? Thirteen thousand four hundred seventy eight. Then greatest five digit number. The greatest five digit number is eighty seven thousand four hundred thirty one. Then Question number two: Write the smallest and greatest six-digit number formed using the given digit. In this question, you have to uh, five digits were given here. You have to form the smallest and greatest digit uh, number. In that that question, you uh, six digits were given here. Now here, what you have to do here, you have to form the smallest and greatest six-digit number. Digit is two comma three comma seven comma eight comma five comma one. So the smallest five digit number is one two. The smallest number is one, then two, then three, then five, then seven, then eight. It's very easy. Accordingly, you have to put the smallest to greatest digit. Then you will put commas. This is one lakh twenty three thousand five hundred seventy eight. Then here, greatest six digit number is opposite of this number, eight. Then seven. Then five. Three. Two. One. This is eight lakh seventy five thousand three hundred and twenty one. The next question is, next question is nine thousand lakh for uh, sorry nine four six five zero nine digits were given here. So smallest six digit number is four. Which number is? Uh, The smallest. We never. I explained you na. We never start number with zero. So this after zero, which one is the smallest? Four, then zero, then five, then six, then nine, then nine. Then greatest six digit number is nine, then nine, then six, then five, then four, four, then zero. Then Next question is, digit 
so we are given here 609304 so the smallest six digit number is we never start a number and is any number with zero so we start from three so three then zero then zero then four then six then nine and greatest six digit number is six digit number is nine greatest number is nine then six then four then three then zero then zero so the greatest Six digit number is nine lakh sixty four thousand three hundred. The next question is rounding of the given numbers to the nearest ten. That I explained you in rounding of all number. How to round off all numbers? So the first question is five hundred forty seven. So here rounding you have to do rounding off to the nearest ten. In nearest ten, you have to check. the digit of ones place so in ones place what's here 7 so if 7 seven, uh, 7 is greater 7 is greater than or smaller than 5 7 is greater than 5 so we will add 1 in tens place and put 0 in ones place so what comes here 0 Four plus one five. Here also five. So the answer is five hundred and fifteen. Then our next question is six thousand nine hundred and twelve. Now again, this question you have to round off to the nearest ten. So this is again in tens place. What you have to check? You have to check the digit which comes in ones place. So in ones place. Two is there, so two is smaller than five. So if two is less than five, so we will put zero in ones place. We will put zero in one ones place, and tens place is same, and the tens place is same. So the number is in ones place. We will put zero, and the tens place is same. And this both number is as it is. Okay, so the answer is this is round off six thousand nine hundred twelve is rounded off six thousand nine hundred ten. Then come to the next question. Next question is rounding off the given number to the nearest hundred. In tens place, what you have to what you checked? You have to check the digit which comes in ones place. Now here. You have to check the nearest hundred. So what you will check the digit which comes in tens place. So nine is greater than five. So nine is greater than five. So we will add ones one in hundred place and put zero in ones and tens place. So in ones and tens tens place we will put zero, and in uh, hundreds place. You have to add one. So the answer is five hundred. So uh, if you round it off to the four hundred ninety six, so what is the answer comes here? Five hundred. Then our next question is seventy five thousand eight hundred forty nine. So in tens place, four four is smaller than five. So four is less than five. So we will put Zero in tens place and ones place. In tens place, we will put zero. The digit at the hundreds place remains same. So the answer is seventy five thousand eight hundred. That all concept I explained you in video three, where I explained you rounded off all concepts of adding and putting zero. and all concept written in your notebook the next question is rounding of the given number to the nearest thousand so the first question is 7435 here you have to round it off to the nearest thousand so what you have to check you have to check the digit of hundreds place in hundreds place 4 4 is less than 5 
so if 4 is less than 5 so we will put 0 in hundreds tens and ones place and thousands place is same okay so the answer is we will put a 0 in ones tens and hundred place and thousands places remain same so the answer is 7435 is nearest to 7000 okay now next question is 12752 so what we you have to check you have to check the digit of hundreds place so 7 is greater than 5 so what you have to do you have to add 1 in thousands place and here you have to put 0 in ones tens and hundred place so 7 if 7 is greater than 5 so we will add 1 in thousand place and in ones tens and hundreds place you will put 0 so 12752 is nearest to 13000 then this is your homework first question is round off the given number to the nearest 10 that is 43785 then second question is 190273 then next question is round off the given number to the nearest 100 the first question is 7319 and the seven, second question is 4000 4,46,755 Then third question is round off the given number to the nearest thousand. So the first is 12,752 and the second question is 8,99,128 This is your homework. So student you have to complete your homework also.